Hey mamas, welcome back to Cloth Diaper Sewing Month. Today I'm going to be doing a dual pocket one size all in one. Um, this style of pocket can also be used for pocket diapers, so I'm going to use a different style than we've done already. I call this style the mail slot pocket. I'm not sure if there's another name for it or not. Um, it's sort of like the beginning steps of doing a double welt pocket, but with no double welt. So it's pretty simple. You're going to start with your outer, prepped however you want. Um, this is an Opulent Monsters Magnum Opus Almo um, cut that I've put snaps on. And I will put a link to the Sosary website in the description so you can get her pattern if you're interested in it. This is not made to the Almo pattern. This is just her template for the shape of the diaper though. I had a few of these cuts, so I'm just using them up. I've got my inner cut out using my Outer's the guide since I don't actually have the pattern template, I just had the cuts. And it's just, you know, this is micro fleece. You can use a Lova suede cloth would be easier, but I don't have any more. Um, not that I'm not already using for other patterns. And so you've got your cut, and then I've got two strips of the same fabric. You could also do like a micro fleece um, as your main piece and then use a Lova or a different wicking fabric as your piece here. It might be easier to use something like a loafer that doesn't stretch than to hold the pocket so that it doesn't warp, but you know, I'm using what I have. So I've got a little strip here that's about an inch and a half by, gosh, who knows, like eight or nine inches. And I basically have this strip so that it'll fit the snake soaker that I made. I made a, sort of a contour snake style soaker for this one. Um, it's the kind that you just fold up to have whatever length you want. Like this one is three layers of cotton fleece, but you can make them, you know, multiple petals. You can do whatever you want. I'm just doing this so I have something to show. <laughs> but basically, you know, make sure that your strip is gonna be at least an inch longer than your pocket. So I've got my thing that has to fit inside the pocket, my soaker that has to fit inside the pocket. And then I've got this strip that's gonna go out beyond the pocket. And it's so that you have this border around your around your opening. And I have a tutorial for this on my blog. I will put a link to it. It might be clearer in pictures actually than in talking about it on a video, honestly. So I'm probably gonna do it two inches down at the front and three inches down at the back. But that's, you know, I'll just eyeballing it. And the reason why I'm doing two pockets is so that you can reach through the front pocket to pull in and position the back, the back soaker. Some people also put inserts sewn to both pockets and then you've got double the absorbency but then you can pull the inserts out during the wash so that they're wash better and come cleaner. And I pin that on and I sew a tight little rectangle at the middle of that fabric and that's where your pocket opening is going to be. And the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your insert, if you already have it made, or just however wide your insert is, and you're gonna make a line down the middle of that. You can use washable pen, or you can use a permanent pen, or you can use chalk. It doesn't really matter because that part's not gonna be able to be seen afterwards. I've got my little ruler here. And you wanna make that line a little bit wider, or just note that where that insert is gonna fall so that your hole is big enough. I just kind of sketch it on there. You could also just do two dots just to indicate the width if you want. And do that at both the front and the back. You can make the front pocket narrower if you're not gonna be using two, if you're just gonna be using one and you just need to pull it through, as long as it's big enough for your hand to easily fit inside. And you're going to go and you're going to sew a tight little rectangle around that hole. And you're just going to cut a line right in the middle of that. And 
There's a photo tutorial for this, this on my blog, so it'll be easier to follow there probably. And then you just take this piece here and you turn it through. And if you like this pocket style or it's easy for you, you can just make a whole bunch of inners all at once and then set them aside and use them later on. Because this part is, you know, not something that you have to use a fancy needle or fancy anything for. This is, this can be sewn just like how you would do quilting. So you don't need your ballpoint needle. You don't need your, you don't need your uh, Microtech Sharp needle. And here's the inside of the diaper inner all pinned up. You've got your turn through little re reinforcement piece here. You've got your nice edge on your pocket opening and you're just gonna sew a rectangle around like the middle of this line here just to hold it down. You can also make it prettier. You can do one really tight in and one further out. Um, you can trim off any excess when you're done and we're just gonna sew around and do another rectangle. There's your pretty little reinforced pocket opening. And at this point, you can clean up your corners and trim your fleece down and sew the other one. And now you've got your little pockets all finished. And if you were gonna do this as a pocket diaper, you could just have one of these holes. You could do both. You would then just sew it to your outer just like you would with any other pocket diaper and turn through the hole and feed your casing through the hole. And this is just another style of pocket opening for a pocket diaper. I actually like this style a lot just by itself as a pocket diaper because it doesn't have the extra flap. It doesn't have the extra material. And you just sew all the way around the outside, turn through the hole. It's pretty clean. It's a nice clean pocket. Looks nice. It's very finished. It doesn't really have anything extra. There's no extra fabric cutting besides this little strip. And it takes a little bit of time, but it's, it, I think it really makes a nice product. The inside's pretty clean looking as well. It's just a little bordered edge there. You can make it a little bit bigger of a rectangle and then do like a second seam around it. But just keep in mind that there won't be any wicking through that place where it's got thicker fleece. So it's, you know, it's better to keep it small unless you're really going for aesthetic and then it might look nicer if it's a little bigger. Then you're going to set your soaker, your insert that you're going to use against the top of the pocket here and just line it up to the edge of that welt opening that that envelope opening just make sure it's centered and you can pin it in place if you want and you're just going to sew it down right to that outside of that pocket and you can use the existing seam so if you want to pin it make sure that it really lines up you can go a little above it as well if it's easier if you want to pin it then you could sew it on the other side and just sew right into your existing seam line so that it's not even apparent that there's an extra seam And if you were doing two, two separate soakers in each pocket opening, like if you wanted to do two shorter ones, you'd probably have them probably each end up being like the, the rise of the small rise. So you'd have them like that. And then you could have two overlapping on the inside. Then you would sew that piece on as well. But for now, I just have it like this. And there's your pocket opening. And then when you take it out through the top, you could lay it on top like that and have it be feel wet or natural fibers against the baby. It's nice and flat up here, or you can tuck it inside. But if you pull it out for washing, it'll come, you know, it'll be easier to come clean and get dried faster as well. So in situations where you want, you know, sort of the perks of a pocket, but also have it already have the insert inside, 
it's a nice solution. You can still add another insert in there on top of that one. When it's being worn, you would pull the insert through the bottom and then tuck it back inside, or you would fold it in half first and then feed it through inside. So for like the small rise, it would just be folded in half. And then at each subsequent rise, you would just fold it down more so that it's the right length. And you can use that pocket at the bottom to help guide it to the right length after it's sewn. And now to sew it to your body, you just do it like you always do. Now we have our inside clipped on to our outside and we're just gonna sew all the way around the outside. Since I'm using micro fleece, it's gonna be pretty stretchy and so I'm gonna try to go really slow. Just turn it through your pocket. So now you just sew your elastic casings and feed your elastic and then you'll be done. Um, remember when you're doing a pull diaper with a wicking inner to make sure when you sew your elastic casings to have your pull just a little bit outset from your inner, you don't want your inner going out like this, because then it'll wick potentially to the close. So just make sure that you're watching that when you sew your casings.
So now your elastics are done and we're just gonna do our top stitching and add our wing snaps. And there's your one size pocket all-in-one diaper. Happy sewing.